Hello everybody, my name is Ace Carter, all known as Duo Craft. You can see my microphone. Anyway, let's restart that. Hello, my name is Ace Carter, more known as Duo Craft, and today I would like to share with you my opinions on young furries and what well, how to get started making off a persona. First of all, I just want to put it out there. I am a young fur myself. I am under the age of 18, so that would class me as a younger furry. For <laughs> for example, let's say a person was, I don't know, under 18, they would be classed as a younger furry. Most of the furry fandom are 20 or 19 and up. This consists of up to 70% of the fandom. It's just most of them are older furs in the, tw in the late 20s. Okay, when it, this is a massive issue. I see so many people, so many young furries, having people's art that they don't have permission of as their profile photo. On it, This can be on any media. Um, but anywhere, like, you can just see stolen art and stolen fursuit pictures. This really makes me sad because I really like seeing people express their creativity through making their own personas and being themselves but when it comes to making your own persona that can sometimes be a tricky task as you don't know what colors to pick or any of that stuff what species many people pick wolves but when it comes to my species i decided to pick a deer it's because i most relate to that species as i get scared of things very easily but i can stand up for myself that is some of the reasons why I picked a deer. And also I'm a really bouncy... <laughs> if you were to ever meet me in person, I am quite a handful. But if you're going for originality, you want to try and avoid um, anything feline related or wolf related generally. Because those tend to be some of the main species in the fandom you see. I would go for something that is not as common as you would see but you know it's just a my personal experience i have only ever made one wolf persona and i wouldn't and also i had hot dog obviously but those are dark times <laughs> when a character design didn't really matter to me and color picking that's another thing we need to talk about okay so when it comes to colors you you're gonna want your you know your basic colors like your main color and then all your other bits and pieces but uh, when it comes to a character you probably don't want to pick any more than uh, six-ish colors i would probably say i normally go for four or three for example he's got maybe um four but he's only actually got one color as you know red or burgundy but his other colours are all shades like white, grey, dark grey, cool grey, you know. Like when it came to colour for my persona, I went for my most favourite colour, which is burgundy. And then what I decided was to make my persona kind of boring looking. I know, he's kind of a... He's very boring to look at. Well, his colours are very boring to the average person because it's just white and black and grey. But... That, you know, that just opposes to his character because he is a very bouncy boy. Now, you may take inspirations from other personas, but you cannot completely copy them as obviously you're going to be found out pretty soon because the fandom is pretty close together and everybody knows everybody pretty much because it's like one massive community. But what I would do is you know if you want to get out there like and get some help and inspiration ask other artists they're they're not gonna p pull you down and be like hey do you know oh no i'm not gonna help you no but obviously you don't ask them to join three at three art that's just a pain in the bum when you do that like, that's just called getting in the way um but you can obviously ask for help you can just like kind of you know just share, share them a photo that you've done so far and be like is this good? Can I get some critique? I can tell you. This now, there is, I have never met a furry artist that is not willing to give critique. I mean, there's, of course there's some that aren't willing to take it, but they're kind of just 
you know, that's kind of just bad if you don't take criticism, in my opinion. <laughs> but anyway, that wraps it up. I think I've covered everything that I can remember, because I am not using a script, because, boy, um, so I would say keep what I said into consideration and, you know, ask fellow people. Don't worry about anything, just, you know, ask. Anyway, I am Ace Carter and I'll see you later. Everything changes.